Hello, and welcome back to some more of the Norse World Conquest series in Crusader Kings 2 with me, the Green Dragon. As you can see, everyone and their mother is revolting, but that's alright. Let them. Let them revolt. Meanwhile, we have more shit to conquer. So, let us see about those truces. We have one here. You're part of that, unfortunately, Nubia. Nobatia, sure. Why don't we go down here and declare on these douchebags? Because they are right here. Yes, yes, no... Yes, Blemia. Sure. And you, march it there. Enjoy it. Auto balance. Yes, that should be about right. And we need to nominate a successor. For some reason. Why don't we have one nominated? We should. Pretty sure we should. Well, the Prince of Finland, eh? Oh, that's not necessarily the best bet. The King of Finland would serve me far better. So, why don't we actually vote for him? See if that fixes the succession. Yes, it does. Excellent. There we go. That's good. So now, 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 what do we want to do? Do we want to declare a great holy war for Anatolia, perchance? It means a good bit of land. Or Albania? No. Georgia? No. What do we want to declare for here? I mean, I could declare war on one of these guys, right? Surely that would be... Nice. What if we just declared the uh, Great Holy War for Bengal? Yes, just take off Bengal. So, Orissa, alternatively, I mean, this would give us a fair bit of land, and it's a nice chunk, by all means. Or maybe here, Great Holy war for, for Maharashtra. That could be a good thing, too. Well, all that is worth considering, but meanwhile, why don't we take back one of these armies and try to smash some of this peasantry? I think I actually want to spend a tiny bit of time actually managing the realm, because... people are a bit pissy. Right? I mean, we will declare war on these guys and kill them and it'll be awesome, but... Other than that, I think we should chillax a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. Also, we have apparently got four children that need... ...working over. As in... ...actually... ...educating. So let's do that. Yes, make all of them Danish, that's fine. So, okay, so we have some dangerous factions. And we don't have enough retinues to... What madness is this? From whence these spikes? Army of Godi Odd. Yeah, no. Get rid of that. Techwise, we're good as well. Yeah, overall, sure, have at it. And the sound is once again screwed up. God damn it, no! I really don't want to know all... I don't want a ding every time, you know? It does the succession thing that seems like a... Bad idea. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever. You'll be fine. Oubliette. Always the oubliette. Making money, that's good, but not as much as we could be because everybody hates me. Actually, now everybody loves me. Huh. Even with the short reign, even my vassal kings, Love this strong, possessed man. 
You are the most scorn. Are you fracking kidding me? You want scorn? Frack no, I'm not giving you my yardum. How many of those do I have? I think two, right? No, just the one. Just scorn. Well, that's even better then, isn't it? Should probably try to get rid of some of these wars. Bring the peasantry in line and all that. I mean, religious troubles is one thing, but we have cultural differences which will piss people off to no end. Which is kind of disappoint, you know? Makes me kind of disappoint, but, uh, oh well. What can you do? Okay, so, not a ruler, not of a great house, my religion, my culture, and men. Grant Lady title. Nubia. There you go. Enjoy, duckling. Enjoy. Now, as for you, you're still marching. That's perfectly fine. I think uh, two armies working together could easily smash... Yeah, I'm gonna have to send some armies to India. But I think two armies working together could win a great holy war in India. Thus, you know... Swinging things in my favor there. A little bit more, that is. Yes, no wifey, no bad. Ah, and they, someone has instituted medium crown authority in their stuff. That's perfectly fine and legit, I don't mind in the slightest. They can institute whatever crown authority they prefer. I don't mind. Now, most of these peasantry things should, I think, resolve themselves. Except for the Indian ones. Those we might have some trouble with due to the simple fact that India means is still gonna be weak due to being recently conquered. So we're gonna have to be careful with that. So, yeah, just gonna take it slow, not gonna necessarily attack that hard, and you're sickly instead of being strong. Ah, uh, fine. Freedom for the prisoners, sure, why not? And, yeah, these are recently conquered, making it easy to quick siege them down. I honestly don't mind that much, to be honest. It makes my job a lot easier, you know? So, yes, why don't we do it that way? Why don't we? Yeah, revolts in India, that's the one thing we do need to care about due to the fact that, like I said, they are a bit vulnerable in their own little way. Because, you know, they are still, they're still going to have the new administration crap. So, obviously, there's going to be a certain amount of problems there. For, you know, obvious reasons. And this is practically one we need just a little bit more. And we lost one of the retinues completely there. Of course we fracking did. Well, I'm not gonna bother about that. Whatever, it's fine. Fracking attrition. I mean, seriously. Attrition. Sure, claims all around. Don't mind. And you... There we go, that's one now. Good. So, let us create the dukedom pretty much immediately. There we go. And search the realm. Able. Yardom of Blemia. Sure, there you go. There you go. And I have enough dynasty member kings that I should be safe on that account. And I'm actually gonna send that one by a different route just to make sure they don't attrition too much by walking together. There you go. Good job. Enjoy. Great. And you are, yeah, one retinue short of what you should be, but that's fine. We're gonna march you back to Alexandria and that should be okay. So. There we go. These should go down relatively easily. Right? Yeah. 
So we have a few, but most of these should get fixed relatively easily, I would think. Yeah, it's really just a matter of uh, smashing the peasantry in question. Really. It's really just a matter of smashing the peasantry in question. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, to be honest. Just have to march in there and actually smash them. And will you get a move on? I hate these places where it takes forever for anyone to march anywhere. It's just annoying. Yes, 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 whatever. I'm now greedy, apparently. They're not gonna stop. Oh, they're retreating. Well, that makes certain amount of sense then, doesn't it? Doesn't it now? Right, so I think I should lead the target there, there and uh, march this army to Macron. That should be good. Yep, they'll stop there. That should be fine. And you, we need to move to there so as to fix that particular problem. Because I don't want any of these, obviously, to succeed, because that would be a bad time for me. Just get in there, will you? Jesus, they're gonna take forever. Yeah, and they, those are already retreating. At least the locals seem to be doing a good job of uh, controlling them. So that's something. Yeah, I should probably have kept an army at those stations in, the in India. But don't worry, we're gonna go on a new offensive in that part of the world momentarily. Ooh, that's a revolt, isn't it? Declare holy war for... Huh. It's all of this? I could declare for this, but it would be messy. I don't like messy. Why don't we just declare a war for the breeze on him? Great holy war for Persia. No, no, no. Yes, for all of that. But that will be good enough, I think. I have two armies here. We can get started on some new conquests. It'll be awesome, truly. Truly! A thousand man army of Bohemia. 500 heavy infantry, 500 archers. Well, that should be able to receive the peasantry well enough. 500 heavy infantry and 500 archers. King of Portugal and Aragon. Right. Yes, let's not piss off our vassal kings. And they are retreating once again, but I think that's it for them. Good. Oh no, not the body heresy. Whatever shall I do? What we want is actually to catch them. Yes, finish off the annoying ones. Crush them utterly. Show no mercy. Good, but where are you going here? Well, then let's try to catch you and prevent this. But yeah, this is slowly coming under control, which is really good. That's another one, that's one. There we go. And you, head over that way as well. Hey, usurpable titles, anything interesting? Nope. Yes. Kingdom of Synth, still no. Okay, so. I assume I was grooming you for command of a kingdom of your own. Right, right. Oh yes, Mesopotamia. May well have been. Uh, 
de jour claims and you are the Jarl of Damascus and Antioch which makes you in the kingdom of Syria fair enough Mesopotamia then will be this one in which case there you go enjoy another king vassal excellent as for here de jour you would be part of the sheikdom of Persia which we are still endeavoring to capture well that's perfectly fine we'll just keep working on that then should be perfectly okay oh there is he right there why don't we go and say hi with some Italian troops? Of course, Subliette. You just relax a little bit and let the Brits Blitzkrieg for the world roll onwards. As is our way. And you are the kingdom of Gujarat, technically. Inherited Nubia. I don't want to inherit Nubia. Let's hand that out again. So, County of Nubia. There we go. Speaking of cultures, we have some Norse and some Danish. Huh. Okay. But mostly, yeah. Mm, not ideal. Not ideal. Not ideal. I could try to convert them by converting some of these kings children anyway I could convert some of these kings children but I think I'm just gonna roll with it it should be fine they are uh, related cultures so their revolt risk shouldn't be too bad in any case wow two at the same time I definitely need to keep armies in yay Hindustan but, you know, that's good to know. Okay, Mastermind Theologian, and go there. Hopefully I can catch them. Okay, why don't we take a look at those actual levies and see how they're doing. Well, they're marching. Yeah, most of our trouble is down here in yeah, Hindustan, because why? 5% revolt risk. It's not absolutely insane but it's not exactly good either is it okay here can't stand it yeah that's gonna be a problem but I think we can win all the same bullshit problems or no bullshit problems meanwhile why not Right, we have raised levies, of course we have. And it's gonna be a pain in the ass, isn't it? It's gonna be constantly interfering with my things. Well, it'll just have to be okay, I guess. Haran Pre Peasant Revolt. Let's try and catch them at least. No, no, no. That's very likely to start the chain of assassinations, and we don't want to die. We really don't. We need to stabilize things a little bit. Slow down a smidge. Not a lot. Don't ever want to slow down a lot, but a smidge all the same. African liberation. Right there. Well... Let's go and explain to them uh, things about the unity of the realm and such like. I think that will be a useful lesson for them to absorb. Along with the blows of our swords, of course. Okay, more. Surrenders. Respect my authority. There we go. Just quick siege a few things, let them uh, chillax. 
Yes, these peasant things are gonna be a pain. Okay, can't really declare on you, can I? Because... And the locals are handling that, which is good. That's good. Good Hungary. And the Mesopotamian king has created a Yaldum. That's perfectly fine by me. He's free to do so. He's certainly free to do so. I certainly do not mind much. Okay, 12th of January, 14th. Missing by a couple of days, but should be able to catch up now, in theory. Do have a fair bit of money, which is nice. Could invest it into some more stuff. And it doesn't matter if someone else is leading this fight, because we just want to chase them down and kill them anyway, right? It's really about exterminating them far more so than it is about, you know, doing anything else. So... The war score deal really doesn't matter that much there. And you are under this guy, so... Holy War for Mathura. Let's see if we can yoink that while the yoinking is good. Meanwhile, you declare... Holy War for Lata. Go there. That's good. And here, 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 here. Here we just want to march in there and smash while the smashing is good. There we go, another kid that needs work. Ooh, someone we can get, op get opinion for, so why don't we do the Italian guy? That sounds well and truly good. Also kill the lot of them. There we go, that's good. One last threat to the establishment. Yes, yes, yes. All the things, I'm sure. More surrenders, good. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that we're the kind of empire that has to be reconquered every 50 years or so. Just a little bit, you know, because there's constant rebellions and the like. But, oh well, it's important that we forge this empire. Exactly how stable it is, well, that's not exactly part of the challenge. We're not going for long-term stability necessarily, we're going for... We are going, in fact, for... Well, just getting everything under us. Spreading that Norse power. Okay, and you, 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 my darling. Okay, why don't you move there? That should help. Okay. Wow. Yes, don't. No screwing with my courtiers. Wife, stay out of the politics. Okay, those are... These are... These are these two wars. The war score there is starting to look pretty nice. Not excellent, but okay-ish. You know? Pretty okay. Yeah. S what? 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 Uh, Sunni Uprising. Where? Here? You fucking kidding me. Go there, smash, kill. Yes, that's there. There's one there, which shouldn't matter. Why don't we just finish this one off? Yes, one less war to worry about. Enforce the things. And, yes, enforce all the things. Meanwhile, here this will ensure that they can't peace out while I continue to occupy a thing, which is good. That means that that war will continue the way it should. Uh, Dijur Kingdoms. 
This is part of the Jor Gujarat, which means that we will be handing it out to this dude, County of Vadodara. There you go. So that leaves only a couple of territories. Yes, we're gonna go after that. Just <laughs> to finish off Gujarat. Or take another step towards finishing off Gujarat anyway. As is the plan. And I think these are the armies of the douchebag we are hunting. Or fighting. But you know, I'm not gonna worry too much about actually <laughs> fighting his armies. I'm just gonna quick siege another thing, I think. That should be sufficient to establish my supremacy. And thus convince him to surrender. I mean, I'm a massive world-spanning empire. Well, not world-spanning, but continent-spanning, certainly. So, you know, kind of one of those situations where he should realize that he's kind of boned, you know? He really is kind of boned. But, oh well, suppose he takes a bit of convincing. Well, whatever, I can respect stubbornness. I can certainly respect it, since it's carried me through a few wars, in this and in EU4. So, sure, be a stubborn little bitch. I'm sure that'll work out in your favor. That's not enough, actually. Interesting. Why don't we march in there and try and smash the armies, then? You enforce the demands. There we go. De jure kingdoms. This is part of Persia. I have a Jarl of Persia. If not a king. Can't you serve from someone who's at war? Wonderful. In which case... In which case... We want to start handing these out by county. It should be fine. He should be quite capable of managing his vassals either way, so... Eh, whatever. He'll be fine. And I think we'll have one more county to hand out. Right... There we go. Yes, and that's everything. Good. Excellent. So this looks a little bit neater. Not exactly neat, but neater. Oh, and that... How the fuck did that revolt end? I didn't think it was possible for it to end while I had that thing going on. But okay, that's... That's fine. He can do that if he wants. That's okay. Ish. Sort of, I suppose. And here, I think we just want the war goal. Come on. There we go. Well, it should finish nicely on its own. Right, so... Yeah, I'd say things are proceeding apace. We are steadily grinding down what remains of resistance. There are two major areas. The Middle East and the... and the Indian stuff. And a bit here, I suppose, but that's not really an area of resistance so much as a misunderstanding. In fact, I have an extra army. I think I'll send one <laughs> over this way and prepare to actually take those out. Because I really should take those out and, you know... Meanwhile, let us deal with that. Ah, and we captured him in battle. Enforce the demands. There you go. So, the Jour Kingdoms. That is, once again, part of Persia. So... Looking, looking, looking. Good, that's now your county. County of Tabriz. There you go. Allies. Right, apparently we have allies. Hmm. Hmm. 
Apparently there's a lot of pieces I could press the jour, but I'm more interested in letting my own guys handle that actually. If possible, right? So who are we at war with? The Pratihara. So why don't we march in like that and encourage some uh, some actual surrendering on that front. And this little bitch keeps running from me. They keep taking attrition as well because of stupid fracking desert bullshit. Oh god damn it. Let me guess you're running. Boom shakalaka. And you're caught, you little bastard. There we go. You do have horses with you. Yes, you do. Excellent. So you can chase them down pretty well. Excellent. <gasps> oh my god. I'm asking for divorce. Oh fuck no. I'm killing her then. Screw that. Screw you, woman. Cheat on me, will you? I thinketh not. I think not. <gasps> yes, skr splat. And someone let her know. Damn it. Well, you asked for it. Ah, Jesus. Oh, and that's a big one, too. I doubt the locals will have enough troops to actually oppose that just yet. Annoying. Right. So I got caught trying to kill my wife. Hmm. Perchance the people might dislike this, but we're gonna keep trying, because screw her anyway. I mean, seriously, cheating on me, in our own bed. <gasps> it's like she doesn't understand. It's like she doesn't understand. Oh look, another Hindu uprising. I feel so freaking special. Let's kill it now. Yes, snakes is good. Here's to hoping that my people are good at converting the religions. And that we will not have much of this bullshit. Cause, you know, it's the alien religions more than anything else that is causing these revolts, I think. Because for the most part we're good, right? Just that we have... I mean, our older holdings, like in Scandinavia and the like, we haven't had a m revolt there in ages. England too, I think. Especially since we saw the end of Catholicism, we really had very little problems there. It's the newer territories, right, that are constantly being a thing. So what do we want? We want someone who's good at stewardship and who has... Actually, no, what we want is someone with brains. Genius, please. Genius? There we go, ten-year-old one. We'll go back to her if need be. We'll go back to her if need be, but I'm hoping to find a older one. Ooh, and nice traits too. Very nice traits, in fact. Yes. Her, maybe. Yuck. Slightly older, but crappy traits. We'll go back to the 13 year old if need be. Unless we can find someone like. Well. Let's see. Anyone? I'm willing to go as high as 20. Beyond that, we're just gonna go 
back. Quick 20 year old. No. I saw a good genius here. I'm taking her. There we go. Because she's awesome like. Not just awesome. She's awesome like. Awesome adjacent. Kind of awesome. You know, stuff like that. And here. Go there. Good, good, good. Random. Ooh, wait. Chief of Parma, eh? Let's imprison and release. There we go, extra 10 opinion. Wonderful, is it not? Is it not? Kron thought he's on high, that's perfectly fine. We don't want things inheriting outside our realm, but other than that. This thing, we want our people to be able to bring stuff into the realm by pressing their claims and the like, but we don't want stuff to ever pass outside our realm, hence the thing. It's a... it's a thing. And I should probably try to use my Great Holy War. I think I'll declare war here. On Maharashtra, or for Maharashtra. It seems like a reasonable amount of land to grab, and it will remove, pretty much remove, a significant power from the local area. And you know, it's an entire kingdom right then and there. So that's awesome as well. There we go, and that's that war handled. So why don't we bring the two of them over here so that we can actually be ready to attack. As for this, let's just grant him the county. There we go, that's handled. Okay, so I'd say that this is generally... Where the frack are you? Here? Yeah, you go there and kindly try to smash them up. Speaking of, do we have anyone truly good? We have a pretty decent king of Afghanistan. Afghanistan. What about Marshall, king of Hungary? Mm, he's really crappy traits. What about you, king of Italy? But no good genetics. I think we're gonna go with the king of Afghanistan for our heir if we can. I mean, all three guys are of our dynasty. Okay. Hmm. Just, no. We're gonna allow the duel. So, right, I had to lower the taxation because everyone hated my guts. I have one king that dislikes me because he's an ambitious little shit. But other than that, everyone seems to love me. I could afford the minus 20 to my opinion on top of what I already have. So, we're gonna bring the taxes back up. Ah, shit. He got away. It's so annoying. Oh well. Righteous imprisonment. Why? There, have the go away and imprison and banish. There we go. Not gonna touch the kings, they can just live their lives out peacefully. I really don't care. I really don't care. So uh, da, 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 de jour kingdoms. Well, obviously we have England, Wales, and a thing. But actually, Ireland. Who could we screw? Conugard, Navarra. Yeah. It would be nice to actually get my dynasty on those thrones, but. Uh, I'm not particularly fast about it. It should be fine. It should be fine. 
here though. Now, no great holy wars. The food though could be taken and should be taken. Now, as for great holy wars, that's this is where we'll have it, right here. Because that makes a certain amount of sense, and Jesus Christ, this video has gone on for far too long. So, uh, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, uh, see you then.